Hey, I'm Eva, I'm here at Blair Studios. Welcome to my studio session. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own version of this watercolor painting. In this session, I will talk you through different watercolor techniques and we will work together to practice our observational skills uh, and create forms while playing with lights and shadows. An A3 watercolor paper, a set of round paint brushes, a set of watercolor paints, a cloth or a tissue, and a water pot. Okay, let's get creative. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start with this nice paint brush, which has um, holds a lot of a lot of um, color to it and water. So I'm gonna. Um, Activate my watercolors. I'm just going to bring a lot of water on the palette and just wake it up. And I'm going to use the lid of my palette here to blend and to mix the colors together. With watercolors, sometimes just use these uh, pins here so you can bring a lot of quantities of water on one area. I suggest that for this purpose, for the color that I want to create, I'm going to use more of the brown rather than the purple but it's really up to you to decide which color you want to have. So I'm also having here some testing papers before, because usually before I go into my actual painting, I need to test the papers to see how, how, how it looks like. So for now, I have this color. It's quite thick at this moment. It's not so watery, but it's just to test the quality, the value of, uh, of the color. So it looks like that. It's very like a warm brown. Um, I might add a little bit of purple to it just to make it, yeah, I think that's it. It's much better. So um, a way to kind of create a lighter tone to this color, just add a, a dip my, I dip my paintbrush into the water and I just go close to the area that I just painted. I'm just going into the edges and just blend the color on the paper. So there are a lot of different ways to blend color and create different values on the same color. Uh, this is one of the way, just going to that and just gradually I create a lighter um, value. I think that's the color that I want. It looks really nice. So I'm gonna go for it. So what I'm gonna do, I have created the color here. The only thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna add more water to it. And for this project, because I'm gonna work on the whole background, I'm gonna use my big flat paintbrush. And I'm gonna bring a lot of water here on, my, on the lid of my palette. So I'm happy with the color that I have here. It's very watery, but still, it seems that it's quite dark, but when you kind of expand it onto the paper, um, it's, it, it looks a lot lighter. I might add a little bit of water. So don't mind having the same value of this color in the whole page. It's okay if you have different um, values on it. So the value is about how dark or light my color is and you can control it, control that um, either by adding more color or by adding more water. As you can see, my, my paintbrush becomes a little bit dry here, so I'm, I'm, I'm confident to add more water to it. I'm not afraid of water. So it feels like that and you can see like um, it's very silky effect and I like that but if I want to have like more of puddles of water I don't know if you can see here but there is this area where I can see the edges on, on this color. Um, oh sorry. So you can either add more water in some areas and you can have this type of effect here which sometimes works quite nice for my painting. Uh, but some other times I just want to have an even surface. That's absolutely fine. Uh, the important thing is for this part to let this layer to dry, but not too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define my area that I want to paint. So this is for the background and I colored in the whole paper. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my other brush, it's quite thin, and I'm going to scoop out some of the color. I have in mind 
what areas need to be lighter or what areas need to be darker. So for this point, for this project, I want this part here to be a little bit lighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water and I'm just going to scoop out the excess color. I have with me a cloth so I can um, bring water on my paper, scoop it out and then dump it onto the cloth. That way I take out the excess color and I create lighter areas on my, on my painting. The other area that needs to be lighter is this area here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same. Take out some of the excess color. This is just a, a rough um, idea of what I'm going to do. I don't worry about the details. Um, it's just the first layer of what's happening here. So also here on the breasts, taking out a little bit of the color. It won't be exactly the same, but it gives me an idea of what my painting would look like. It's like as if you have your eyes a little bit of uh, closed and you can see through your eye, uh, eyelashes, just a blurry image on the paper. So you kind of imagine what this might look like. Something like that. Um, and then I'm going to go here on the top of the belly and I'm just going to take out some of the colour again. So while I'm waiting for the rest of the paper, of the colour to dry, I'm, I'm working on these areas um, as well by adding water, taking out uh, some of the colour, just to define my areas. And maybe a little bit here. Maybe here as well. So at this point I might need to have a little bit of drier because there is still a lot of water in this area. So I'm just um, dumping my paintbrush on the on the cloth and just taking out the excess color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this uh, paintbrush, uh, this pointy one that ha can hold a lot of water. So I'm going to dip it into my water, bring it here, and I'm just going to create the same colour but a lot thicker this time. So I need to think of my dark values here, like where do we have the darker values? For example, we have some on the knee here. Um, so I'm just bringing a lot of colour onto my lid now. A lot of my Van Dyke brown, which is one of my favorite. And at this point, we always need to remember to test our color because we create a lot of color constantly. So I'm just going to test my color here if it feels the same or it needs a little more of the Van Dyke brown here. Yes, I think that looks quite nice now. I think that for me, I would start from the top and work my way down. So I'm going to go here. Uh, on the area of the breast and I'm just going to add a little bit of colour. It looks quite dark but that's absolutely fine because after that I'm going to add a lot of water to it um, and shape it in a better way. We'll just add at this point um, the main colour in this area. Um, and with watercolours as well you kind of have to learn how to accept the fact that water uh, is in charge here. You can befriend it if you want to, but it's mostly like, let it do its own thing. Um, have, a, have a thing where you should place the paint and how much water you should uh, add to your paintbrush or not. For example, here you saw in the beginning that I add a lot of um, dark color in these areas and then I took it away by adding um, water to it. And it feels like here it needs to be a little bit lighter, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it, um, just really lightly. I'm not going to scoop it out, I'm just... I just want to move it a little bit. Uh, so at this area I want it to be quite light. As you remember earlier, I took a little bit of the colour out, so I have a lighter um, area there. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add water to it. And this area is quite wet, so that's really, that works really well because that way you're going to push the, 
a color in areas that they haven't been colored before. So I'm gonna go like that and it totally needs a, a, a lot more water and it needs a little bit to push the water. So what I need, I need to have a dark area here and a lighter area there, but a darker probably area here in the middle somewhere. So it's up to you to kind of manipulate the water. You kind of totally push it wherever you want it. So at this point, what I want is I want to take some of the water out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm adding water and then I'm damming it onto my cloth. And then again, with a dry, or like slightly wet paintbrush, I'm just scooping out some of the color. Um, and it feels like this area is quite dry now. What I'm gonna do so I'm gonna add a little bit of the thick color that I have here. And it's quite dark and nice. And it's okay if it spreads around, that's absolutely fine. Just work your way with it. And maybe, um, I'm gonna, at this point, I'm gonna use a little bit of my synthetic brush, which is quite harder. And um, it's really nice for details. So what I'm, I want is I want to here in the nipple area to create this part and make it a little bit lighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in my paintbrush there, no color at all, and just scoop out part of the paint. So that way I have a dark area here and a lighter area there. And maybe make a little line like that. So it looks something like that. Probably I need to take some of the color away from here. Here, just a little bit. And as you can see, this paint is very, it's very organic because the water makes basically the whole job for us. Um, and this is not finished, just the first layer. And you see how it will change while, while this is drying and the water is moving as well. Uh, so I'm scooping out some of this color as well. And it almost feels like I created like a triangly shape uh, in this area here. So um, I think I'm happy with what I have at the moment. I'm gonna scoop out some of this color as well, make it a bit lighter. And if I need to add more to it, I can do it later on when this layer is dried. So uh, I'm gonna move on to the other breast here. It's probably just gonna be kind of the same way, try to think about light and shadows to have like a 3D effect. Uh, here. So it's all about the light and the shadows. So at this point, because we're doing a lot of details, I'm going to use um, the, the synthetic paint brush. I'm going to add some color to it and I'm gonna go here in the nipple area and I'm just gonna add a little bit of details. Um, as you can see, because the area is still wet, the paint is blended, uh, which is okay, it's okay. It's just that we need to kind of push the color into the areas that we want it to go. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of color here, just to give it a little bit more of shape. Um, and what I need, so I think I need more color there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change again into my other paintbrush. And I'm just gonna go into this area because it's quite dry. This is the first, uh, paint, the first paint that we put there. So just need to add more to it. Um, and probably mm, I'm gonna add a little bit more of here just to shape it a little bit. Um, and I think when this is dried, I'm gonna work on it a little bit more, but for now, this part needs to dry. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm, go I'm going to move on to this area of the, of the belly, the stomach. Um, and again, I'm gonna add the same color. It's quite easy because we only need one color for that. And it gives us a, a it's like sketching. You only work with the light and the shadows at this point. And you, you do that by just using color just one color. 
So I'm gonna go into this area, I'm gonna shape the area of the belly. I'm being quite abstract with that because um, I'm, I'm gonna, I need to first layer this quite darker. I'm gonna go like that. I'm just adding color, it's quite easy. It's quite pleasant to fill in, in color just by not overthinking about it. Um, uh, so while I'm going on to the top, I'm, I'm, I'm probably adding a little bit of less color. And at this point, I'm not, I'm not gonna go all the way to the top. I'm just gonna leave it a bit of space there because that's the area where I'm gonna add more water to it. So the source of light for this for this paint is from the top, which means that these areas here should be lighter than the areas that are underneath there. So um, I added um, paint on this area and just left the edges without water and without paint. And now I'm just gonna add water to it. Um, just a clean paintbrush with water and just you'll see how the colors will blend and create a lighter area on the top of the belly area. Uh, and it's gonna go like that. It's okay if the wood, some paint from the breast come onto the area of the belly. You're gonna shape it, that's absolutely fine. Um, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna give it the shape that I want. And as you can see, parts of the paint there are quite dry, but that's absolutely fine because I'm gonna go on the top with my with a wet paintbrush and work on this area. I activate the, the color on the paper and again I can work with this area. I don't mind about these dried edges there. So I'm gonna go like that. Um, and what I have is like I have a lighter area here. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of water, just water, have a clean paintbrush and kind of push the color. Um, there, and I'm gonna add a little bit of deeple there just for now. And what I need is I need more color, I need to create more color for this. At this point, I would suggest that we use a lot of color, more color than water. We need kind of thick paint there. So I'm gonna go onto these areas uh, here uh, on the left and I'm gonna add color. There are some areas that are quite dried, some other areas that are quite wet. So I'm gonna work with these areas and I don't really mind what's really going on. I'm just creating the first abstract shapes. So I'm gonna go here on the navel area and I'm gonna add a bit more of dark to it. And this area is quite dry, so you see that the paint is not blended, which is okay. We need that. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more of water. I don't wanna have a thin layer here, but I just need a little bit of uh, weather. And I'll probably um, add a little bit more of color in this area here. And I'm being quite generous with my color, my paint and my paintbrush. The movements are quite, um, yeah, I would call it generous. And as you can see, the paint is quite uh, wet. So I think that at this point, I just needed to dry a little bit in order to work, to work with that uh, in a minute. If you want to get creative with other Blair artists, make sure that you subscribe here. Okay, so now we finished with the upper part of the body and we're gonna move on to the legs. So it, it, at this moment, it looks quite rough. It's just the first layer of the belly area and the breasts. And it already has this skin effect, which is brilliant, but we need to add more to it um, when this area is dry. So I'm gonna move on to my legs uh, now. Um, and what I'm gonna do, of course, I'm gonna use the same color. And um, I need to think again about the light and the shadows. For example, if we have the source of light coming from the top, that means that this area of the thighs is quite light and here as well, and the other side is quite dark. So I'm gonna work now on the darker side. So I'm gonna go here at the bottom where uh, is the knee. 
Uh, because this, this woman is, is, is sitting uh, with bended knees, sitting on her knees. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to kind of make some brush strokes around the area of the knees and the bottom side of the calf here. And um, the thing is that we basically have the same values here on both legs. Um, more or less, but I need to define each leg and I can do that with my watercolors by just doing one leg at a time. Um, that's just one way to work with it and I think for this, um, for this painting it works quite well. So just letting this dry for a little bit and then kind of adding color to it really roughly. I'm being quite confident with my brush strokes. Um, then I, I give to my brush a nice bath here and I'm coming back onto my painting to shape um, the thigh. So I'm just adding water, I'm starting from this area and I'm just pushing the colour onto this top area of the thigh. And um, uh, just for now, because this area is quite wet, I wouldn't touch, I wouldn't touch my paintbrush there. I'm just going to leave a little bit of space to breathe. And then I'm going to work on this area and now and gradually kind of blend this together. So it's important to think of how much pressure you put on your paintbrush as well, like whether you just use the tip of your paintbrush or just really pressing hard. Um, so I'm going to work on these areas as well, just adding water at this point, nothing else. I'm just using the paint that I have on my paper and work my way up to the top of the thigh. And I'm going to push the colour a little bit here as well. And at this point, because this area is quite abstract, uh, we have a lot of shadows going on, uh, it's okay if you touch the wet paint, kind of push some of the paint down here to shape uh, the thigh. So uh, at this point, I feel like I'm going to leave this area light and I'm going to touch these areas uh, on the bottom of the belly and kind of push the colour down because there is a lot of shadows going on there. So really naturally, some of the paint is dry, some of it is still wet. It works quite nice because I can form uh, shapes with my water and my paintbrush. So like that. Um, I think I think I need a little bit more of colour here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit more of colour. So I'm going to go here and I'm just going to add a little bit more to it. It's okay if your paint, if you have this type of paintbrush and your paint's kind of splashed around, that's absolutely fine. Um, there is, uh, there are no mistakes to it, it's just happy accidents and that's absolutely fine. You make it part of your painting and that's that's what, what makes it unique. Um, so I think I'm going to work a little bit more of here, kind of shape it. And I feel like it um, looks like a block of colour going on here. So what I'm going to do is probably scoop out some of the colour to give it a little bit more of shape. I have this white area here. I'm going to leave it as it is. I feel like I like it there. So I'm just going to dump my paintbrush onto my cloth and kind of scoop out some of the excess colour and water that I have there just to give it a little bit more of shape. And I'm going to go here just to show that the thighs there. So there are areas that I need this colour and this pe uh, water and some other areas that I need to kind of take it out a little bit. Maybe here I'm going to add more colour to it. I just need a, a little bit of white surface there. Maybe there. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more of colour there. I feel it needs it to, to create more shadows there. So I'm going to go here at the bottom of the knee. Kind of give it a little bit better shape maybe. Um, and I think I need a little bit more of paint. So I'm going to create some more. Uh, remember to test your colour every time. Um, so I'm going to go here and have a nice thick colour that comes a kind of, it's very opaque at this point and I quite like that. I like to have 
areas that are quite opaque and some other areas that are very transparent. Uh, so I'm going to go here and add a little bit more of color and maybe here. At this point, I'm only touching the tip of my paintbrush. I'm not pushing hard. I'm being quite gentle with my brush strokes. Yes, like that. I'm going to dip it into the water, give it a nice bath and I'm going to come back to it and just play with it a little bit. Go around the edges here, kind of gradually blend the colour at this point. So I feel like I need to smoothen out my brush strokes here. So what I'm going to do is with the, just the tip of my paintbrush, I'm just naturally kind of blend it into my painting. Um, what I would need probably is a little bit of darker there. So I'm not going to go into my thick paint, but the lighter paint that I created earlier. And I'm just going to go add a little bit there, probably exactly on the line where the belly and the leg starts. And just going to be very careful with my movements and just go here and add a little bit more to it. And that way I still, because the, pa the paper is still wet, you see how gradually the paint blends um, in this area, which is exactly what I want. Let the water do its thing. Great, and it feels like the, the colour came onto this area, but I feel like it's good. It gives it a little bit of unique vibe to it. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to scoop it out. I feel like I like that. So I'm going to move on to now the other leg and I'm going to work the same way, okay? And I feel like that in this point I have the knee area more exposed to the camera. So I'm, I'm going to add more darkness in this area where is the knee and I'm going to uh, work my way around it. So I'm going to paint and add a lot of color. That will be quite generally quite generous with my brushstrokes. I'm not going to do everything at this point. I need to be more expressive than I can do when I was best. So I'm going to go here and add a little bit of work on the top and bottom here and kind of shape the little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm not doing everything in detail. That's not the point. So I'm going to go here and I think at this point some of the paint is quite wet, some of the paint is quite dry. So let's test the waters here, see what's going on. I'm going to add my paint, I'm going to add some paint there. It feels like the paint is quite, quite dry so it doesn't really affect the quality of my other leg at this point, which is okay. Um, it's just all about observing how your paint uh, reacts. So kind of go with it and see how much you need to work around it or whether you need to have more smooth uh, lines or more like hard lines with your paintbrush. So just experiment and see what feels right for your project. At this point, um, I'm going to work more in this area, but I need to dry a little bit. So I'm going to do some water in this area and go here. And because I'm going to show that there's some hard lines on there, um, I'm going to add water closely in this area and go around the middle of this. It's a really nice element to it. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to go to the thigh, work my way down, shaking the thigh, and so I'm not using a little thick paint, but just um, the thin layer, it's quite transparent. I can still see the texture of the paper, which is pretty, I really like this effect. I'm going to go here and blend a little bit. It's very kind of, um, we, have, we have some hard lines here, so I'm going to do some hard lines here, so we kind of blend things together a little bit. So I'm going to go here again. So at this point, I might need to push a bit harder with my paintbrush. I'm going to be gentle with the time. I just need to choose one that's really. So I think I'm going to add a little more paint. I need a thick layer of paint there. I won't have any black effect. So I'm adding more color. I'm being very generous with my paint and I'm happy with what I created so far. So I'm going to go again onto the knee area. Seems that we're focusing a lot on this area, but actually uh, it gives a lot of detail to our drawing. So I'm going to go here and maybe here at the bottom and just create a little line over there and shape it again like that. Maybe, maybe extend it a little bit. Um, and maybe create. So this is going to be the top, the the bottom part is where the calf starts and we only can see part of it. Um, so I'm just going to go here and just gently push the colour there. At this point I'm just giving a nice bath to my paintbrush and I'm coming back to it. Just add a little bit of colour there. And what I need now is kind of push the colour that way to create the shape of the thigh. Um, so I'm going here on the top, kind of bringing the colour up there. And what I need to do at this moment is to add more water to it. So I'm, I'm cleaning my paintbrush and I'm coming back onto my artwork. And at this point, this area, the edges of this area seems to be quite dry. So 
that works really nice because when I'm gonna go, when I'm going to go on the top here, I'm just only gonna push part of the color and not the whole area. So if I would go earlier on this area with water, that would be like everything would go up and I would lose my save. But at this point, I'm just gently touching the paint and just bring part of it on top, on the top of my paint. So I have this shape there. I feel I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I just feel like I need to scoop out some of the color there. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water and then dump my paintbrush on the cloth and then scoop it down. As you can see, part of the paint is quite dried already, but if I am being quite persistent, kind of rubbing this area, I can take some of the color off. I don't have to take it all off, but I just need to show the movement. So I'm just gonna keep doing that and maybe take some of this color out as well. As you can see, you can easily do that because that area was wet already so I'm gonna scoop some of the color out and probably what I need is I need to have a little bit of darkness over here so I'm just gonna use my paint and with the tip of my paintbrush I'm just gonna touch the area between the navel and the thigh and the bottom of the belly here and really gently follow the lines that I already created there um, so it's all, it's all about playing with the shadows and light, um, just giving shape to your forms here. And what I need is, I think I need more of darker areas there. So with my paint, um, I'm just gonna go again onto the area of the belly. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more to it, create more of a round movement to the belly. Um, so I'm gonna go like that. And probably I'm gonna do movements like that here. And I'm gonna add water on this area, just following the shape of the area there. I probably need a little bit more of uh, shadows at the bottom, right bottom side of the belly. So I'm gonna bring some color in here. I'm just gonna blend it with the rest of, of my painting like that. Probably bringing closer to the breast there, some of it, not all of it. And then I will add water, kind of smoothing out the edges there. And I'm gonna go here as well. And I can, I'm not afraid to go again on these areas that I already painted, kind of smoothen it out. Maybe closer here to the right breast. And I'm leaving a little bit of space here because of, of the light kind of go here. Um, what I need is I think also, um, I need a little bit of color here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a layer of, of this color uh, at this point here. Um, perfect. And it goes like that. I'm not afraid to do marks on the paper and it might not look exactly what I'd, I'd like to, but it still forms the shape that I had in my head. So I'm happy about that. I'm adding more light uh, in this area by bringing more darkness to the nearby area. It's another way of thinking about and sh shadows and light. So I'm gonna go here, add a little bit more of water. Um, and at this point, what I would need probably is a little bit more of darkness over here. So I'm gonna bring a little bit more of color uh, on this leg and a little bit more of darkness. It looks quite like really rough brush strokes, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna add water to it and smoothen out the edges is another way of working, smoothing out the edges here by just applying water there. Just going back to this area. 
and I'm being very careful with my brush strokes. I want to lose the shapes that I already have created. I'm just adding to it. So I'm going to go here and really gently. What I do is I'm going on the, on the same areas. I'm not really doing anything. I'm just adding water bar and it might not look like anything at this moment, but when the paint dries, um, then you will be able to see your brush stroke. So if you don't want to see your brush strokes, keep going with water, just water, to, to, to create a more smooth effect on your painting. Something like that. And maybe creating more of abstract shadows over there. Um, or maybe we want to take some of the paint out. It's really up to you where you see light and shadows. And let the paint and the water do the work for you. Like just place it there and then you can manipulate the way that works better for, for your project. So I think I'm, I need to work a little bit more on this side of the belly as well. At this moment it's like this final touch is like you kind of observe where the paint is dry, where it's wet, what needs to be, um, what, what needs to be added to that. So just practice your observational skills, have in mind where the light comes um, and where your shadows are, kind of work your way around it. Um, so I'm just gonna create a little bit more of paint there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go onto this area because I feel it needs a little bit more of work, just a little bit, just to create a little bit of shape uh, like that and maybe I'm going to go here, navel, navel area, um, and I'm just going to add a little bit more of darkness, maybe there. At this point, my paint is quite thick. I can't see the paper here, but it's absolutely fine. Um, and just adding a little bit of water just to smoothen out these edges there. And probably... I would add a little bit of darkness there. So it's all about observing what your painting needs and what you want to achieve. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna smoothen out the edges by just adding a little bit of water and just kind of pushing the color there. Um, Sometimes it's good to also kind of get a step away from your painting and see it from a different angle, get it away, um, get a little bit detached from it. Uh, sometimes that works really well to have a better idea of how your painting looks like because if we were very close to it, then it's kind of, we lose the, we lose the forest and we only see the tree. So um, I think that's it for now. I would really leave this layers to dry uh, and see whether we need to do any other adjustments in a little bit but for now I think you just let your painting to rest. Thanks for joining me today at my studio session. If you want to check out more of my work go to blurart.com.